Hi, welcome to my channel and today we are going to discuss about EMR. So EMR, Elastic Map Reduce, which is a service in AWS, that is Amazon Web Service Cloud. So EMR is a fully managed big data cluster for enterprise. So you already familiar with uh, Hortonworks and Cloudera, like uh, data stacks, Hortonworks, Cloudera, Databricks. So similar to that, EMR is an enterprise uh, big data cluster service. So people can use on their real time. So we have Apache setup, right? Apache Hadoop, Apache Spark. So all these are like we call them as a vanilla flavors. So they are not for enterprise. So people will use all Hadoop Spark asses like Apache, but the thing is, uh, someone has to provide support for it. So Apache will not give support for you, but I'll still, I will use the same Hadoop, same Spark, same Strom or Hbase, but Hartonux and Cloudera has the same components, but they will give support and they we call them as enterprise service providers. So Hartonux and Cloudera, they are leading in market for providing big data services. Same, similar, like uh, uh, number two, number three, I can say in the list, AWS EMR. And similar to that, we have in Microsoft, uh, HD Insight is for big data as a service that Microsoft provides in cloud. And we have IBM uh, uh, big data service provide, uh, service provider called uh, Big Insight as a service that IBM provides in cloud. And similar to that, Hartonux and Cloud Run, we do have this AWS EMR. It's, it's on cloud, big data on cloud. So the full form of EMR is Elastic Map Reduce. But whenever I say the full form of this EMR, people used to ask me a question. Will that, will AWS EMR will only support MapReduce? That is or only support Hadoop. It's not like that. The name is something like MapReduce, Elastic MapReduce. It in turn supports Spark, Hadoop, all components in Hadoop like Hive, uh, Hive Pick Scoop and then in Spark, Spark SQL Streaming and even it has some data science components and some visualization tools like Zeppelin and even it has some NoSQL databases. Let me show you the list of component what it has. So the creation of this EMR cluster is very simple. It's like two to three clicks. The cluster will be get created. Everything will be pre-installed and you don't want to do anything extra. Same, similar to how Hartonox and Cloudra has been prepared on the whole and provided to the developers. And the same way, EMR is also inked to picture. So as I told you, after Hartonox and Cloudra, EMR is something people are considering highly. Even we have Microsoft and uh, IBM's big data cloud, but still people, the more people use uh, EMR, the Amazon's uh, big data service stuff, which is EMR. So let me tell you like how to start with this. So for this, you need uh, uh, the Amazon uh, console access. When, when I say console access to access, Amazon web service provides lots of services, not only EMR. So to access all these services, you need a login to connect and then you have to work with those services. So Amazon has, it is a paid service, but uh, it has a one year free account for few services at for some extent. Okay, so if you are more interested on this, so I have given my Amazon AWS playlist link where I have already uploaded a lot of AWS stuffs and how to create an account and what is free tier and what all comes under free tier. So those stuffs I have already included, uh, means I have already made as a video and I've shared that playlist link in the description box of this video. You can have a look. And EMR is not comes under paid, uh, means it's not comes under free tier of Amazon, what it provides for one year. So a EMR is not coming under free tier but still you can use so uh, the, the charges will be very 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 less okay just uh, for exploring right so we again it has the same HDFS Spark Uzi Scoop but everything I've done in Apache I, I did uh, Hive, I want to work with Hive I already did with Apache Hive Apache Hbase Apache uh, Spark and I did everything in my local mission with Apache but EMR is just for uh, an experience of a real-time flavor just you can you can create EMR work with some commands and then add in your resume that you know EMR. Right, end of day, it's going to be the same hive, same scoops, same spark and same stuff. Even if you go for Hartonox or Cloudera or EMR, that's the technology stuff are same. Only the environment is different. So just to explore, you, you will get a touch of uh, enterprise uh, cloud service provider, big data service provider. Just for that, you can just uh, install EMR and uh, in cloud and you can access few services and you can kill the mission. That's it. It won't, they won't charge you much, not more than if you just walk for 
hours from one hour, the, the charges won't be more than 100 rupees or even it won't be more than 50 rupees in INR I'm saying. Okay, so uh, after you log into the Amazon console, you will be seeing all these services. So these are all the services provided by Amazon. So they have so like similar if you see media services, networking services, they have the service for data science and they have for security governance, storage and uh, our EMR comes under analytics. So this is EMR, elastic map reduce. So let me, uh, so I will just click this. So each of this uh, service has their own window something like this so if you see for emr we have the option of create cluster and you can see i have already created a cluster sometime back and i have terminated it in 26 minutes so now i'm gonna click this create cluster it's so simple so once you click create cluster you will be getting into this window and here you don't want to do anything uh, because I'm, I'm going to use advanced option uh, so the reason why I'm going to choose advanced option is if you see here uh, this is the this is what you are seeing here is not the advanced option it, it just came after I click the button create cluster so if you see here they have different EMR versions. I choose one, one some version. And if you see here, if I choose this, I will be able to use only Hadoop, Hive, Hue, Mahout, Pig, and Taze. But if you see, there is no Hive. So if I want to use Hive, I have to go for the second one. So my my uh, thing is like uh, my requirement is I need Hadoop, Hive, and Spark to be get installed. But that comes under each of different uh, thing. I cannot choose multiple things at a time. So that's the reason I'll go for the advanced option where you can customize and pick the text stuff to be get installed by EMR for you. Okay, let me go to this advanced option and uh, here I can choose the same. Again, you can choose the EMR version. I will go with the latest one and you have four steps to create this uh, cluster and here you can choose whatever uh, the text stuff you need and these are all the text stuff provided by EMR if you click it this will be get installed by EMR itself and you just like it's it's a ready ready to go cluster so it will be created in that way so what extra you need so let me go for Jupiter I'll take this I'll need this I'll need Joplin it's a, it's a similar to Jupiter uh, Joplin has a notebook and uh, it gives you the outputs and charts I need uh, Zookeeper I need Flink I need uh, Scoop and Phoenix and uh, SQL interface for HBase and I need HBase too and then Pastro is similar to Hive okay you, whatever whatever you need you can click oh, of course I need Spark so you can choose all these things and then like other things you can leave it as is you don't want to get more into it and uh, since emr is uh, by aws uh, aws has a file system similar to our hdfs i uh, call s3 so s3 is not exactly a file system it's called object store in aws so since it's the emr is provided by aws they give two options for you to store your data in general we know in hadoop we use hdfs as a default file system but in emr they are giving you the option whether you can choose s3 or you can choose hdfs but Spark, MapReduce, Hive, Pig, all these components will work on S3 also. But my recommendation, please go with HDFS because the technology, the big data tech stack will work well if the file system is, uh, is HDFS means rather than going with some external uh, file systems like S3. It, both are distributed, but still I recommend you to go for HDFS for better performance. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to change any of these options. Let me go with HDFS and I've just uh, given some of the uh, things here and then i'll just click next okay so here uh, the option is you have to choose all your hardwares like how many class means nodes you need in a cluster then how many masters you need and then how many core nodes you need and task nodes you need so its cluster is group of nodes right so you have like 10 nodes and we call them as a 10 node cluster right so you can decide like how many masters and cores and tasks you need task nodes you need and if you see here uh, in 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 aws for each and every configuration of a mission has a name if you see, if you choose this m5.xlarge, this is a name of a pre-configured and empty mission. So this mission has four cores and 16 GB of RAM. So if I if I want to change it to something different, if you see here, if I choose this mission, it has 32 cores and 16 memory uh, and uh, 640 SSD. So this is this will be one one mission, one mission configuration, one node configuration. So the the mission that you choose based on that the cost will be uh, increase and decrease so uh, you have different options you can choose anything that you want 
So uh, let me go with like one master node and two core nodes and three task nodes. So that means in total it's five node cluster. So I will leave it as it is. So then you can, if you want, you can chain the mission configurations. So if you see here, like everything is m5.xlarge, which is 4 GB RAM and 16 GB memory. But if you want, you can change. So I'll go with this and then next. So here, this is for general cluster settings for where the logs has to get stored and those stuffs and tag name for your nodes. So it's it's all you can leave it as default and then next. So here comes the security. It's all about uh, what I can say like uh, the password that you use to log into your cluster so similar to that in AWS it, it gives you a keypad a file so that file will be used as a key as a password when you try to log into that node okay so if you see here a security keypad is required so I have already created a security keypad test okay so uh, if you see here uh, uh, the there is a separate steps has to be taken to create this key pair so let me show you that as well so because as i told you it's it's uh, it's completely uh, with respect to aws there is a concept of uh, whenever you create a mission you have to connect with the key pair so that key pair you have to generate and who who the people who has that key pair can able to connect with the node it's similar to the password what we have so let me show you that quickly how to do that just click ec2 it will be under compute so ec2 is elastic compute cloud so just click ec2 and uh, you can you will in in the left hand side you will see key pairs just click this so after you click this uh, key pair you can see test which is something that I have already created and that's the reason you can see when 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 I click this drop down list I'm getting this so now uh, I have to create a new key pair so just let me do this create key pair and then it is asking for PIM or PPK because always you go for PPK. So because it's it's for PuTTY. So PuTTY is a tool which we use to connect the remote mission. Like the people who are watching this video, like mostly you, you have been worked with this tool, I guess. PuTTY is a tool which used to connect uh, uh, a remote mission. So uh, I have given the PuTTY download link in the description box of this video. So you can download PuTTY and then you can use it to connect any remote mission, not only cloud, even, uh, even your uh, mission which is very near to you which was connected with the LAN so you can able to connect with putty if you know the IP address and password okay so this one you can choose and you can give some name for this so let me give as uh, something like demo so now I will just do this I will just click create key pair okay so the key pair has been created so it's asking for uh, uh, download so you have to download it it's required because you need this uh, file to connect with your remote mission so let me go back and let me choose uh, uh, okay let me refresh so next okay let me refresh this page so that I'll be getting that demo key pair in my drop down list okay so okay fine it's come it is coming from first Okay, let me quickly select all these things, whatever it is required. And then next, and this is your hardware and this is your general cluster settings and yeah. So now if I click this drop down, let's see, I'm, I got my demo, right? So that's all. So now you can create your cluster. So uh, after uh, like uh, it will redirect to the main page, which is your cluster informations and details. So the cluster will take some time for you to uh, uh, it for it for for them to create the cluster so you have to wait for some time so let me pass the video here and once the cluster is live and once the ip address is generated and then i will continue okay so if you see here uh, the cluster has been started as you can see i got this public dns ip address so you have to copy this okay so now i have my putty which is already installed and i've just pinned it to my taskbar so let me click this you have to paste your ip here then the host name and then uh, now now uh, you have to uh, browse your uh, you have to attach your key file that you have generated with this putty so you have the option here called the connection just expand this connection and you will be seeing the option ssh so click this ssh and then you will be seeing auth so authentication so the short form auth so you have the option browse here just click and this is the key just you have to browse it and select this now you have to give open so the very first time when you try to open it will ask you for a warning uh, there will be a warning pop-up will come just yes or no it will ask you have to give s okay i'm doing it 
second time so uh, so it is not asking for me and uh, the login username is hadoop so the default username for emr cluster is hadoop so you have to give hadoop as your username and you can see like after i give hadoop it's not asking for any password because i have given my key file key profile demo right so that is your password so now it entered into the emr cluster so let me try to change the settings i will increase the font size so you can see here now now it's better it's bigger the fonts are bigger now yeah so uh, so now we have to check whether the components whatever that we have uh, selected got installed or not right so if i just give hive it enters into hive the reason like I'm not installing anything as, I, as I'm showing you here. It's a fully managed cluster which all this whatever the components that we have selected has been installed like by EMR not by S it's it's been installed by them and any other component which is not there in the list but you are you you wanted to install it in this node yes it's possible you can can you can uh, uh, just communicate with your admins and you can speak with them and you can get some acknowledgement with all the approvals and then you can install it means where I'm saying within if, if, if it's a process in your company then I'm saying this but if it's your personal thing yeah you can install any component like uh, for example Cassandra is a NoSQL database which is not there in the list while we create the EMR cluster right I need Cassandra so I can directly install Cassandra on this node and I can I can install on my own that is possible still it's possible it's open source package you can install so in the similar way I'll just come out from the hive shell so let me go for spark shell so you can see spark shell when I give spark shell it directly enters into the spark shell and no need of any special configuration or something like that. So this is what a fully managed cluster. So, so even after watching this video, right, you can add EMR in your uh, distribution list. So in resume, people used to ask what in which uh, big data distribution you have worked this will be a question in your interview so they will check whether you have the real-time experience or not by asking your uh, distribution on which environment you worked Hadoop project or Spark project. So, uh, so I am currently working on Hartanox in my previous project. I worked in Cloudera. So, in my resume, I have the column uh, with the data uh, with with the key as uh, big data distributions, and the value will be Hartanox and Cloudera. And also, I am adding EMR because I have experience on EMR. So, after watching this video, even you can add EMR in your resume as a known uh, distribution because there is nothing. They will ask you what is EMR. You can just explain EMR is a fully managed cluster provided by AWS, and then and then you can say you worked on Hive and Spark. There is no much thing you need to know about EMR. It's all about that's it. You can add in your resume. So thanks for watching. And if you really like my video, please do subscribe channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues. So we do have a lot of uh, big data videos and I have provided the playlist link in the description box of this video. You can just have a look. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.